Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to see the different JDBC drivers. Now first of all, why do we need a database driver? Now, we can't directly talk to the database server, okay? It won't understand our JDBC calls, right? So a database driver converts our JDBC calls to database specific calls, okay? So for every database, we need a database driver, right? Let's say we want to connect to an Oracle database, then we need an Oracle driver. Or if we want to connect uh, to a MySQL database, then we need a MySQL driver, right? And so on. Now, there are four types of JDBC drivers, okay? First is type one driver, which is also called JDBC ODBC bridge driver. Then we have type two driver, which is called native API driver. Then we have type three driver, which is called network protocol driver. And finally, we have type four driver, which is also called as thin driver. Now we'll see all these drivers one by one. So the first one is JDBC ODBC bridge driver. Okay. Now this JDBC ODBC bridge driver, it converts our JDBC calls to ODBC calls and gives it to the ODBC driver. Now the ODBC driver will in turn convert the calls to native calls of the database API. Okay. Now these native calls will be understood by the vendor database library. Okay and the vendor database library will in turn convert the calls to vendor specific database protocol. Okay. So this is how it works. Now, uh, if you see these layers over here till vendor database library, all of these layers are part of the client machine. Okay. Now, whenever our JDBC calls go from a client machine to the database, they will ultimately go in the form of data packets, right? So these calls have to be converted to some database specific protocol, right? And that job is done by our vendor database library. Okay. So the vendor database library, uh, takes the native calls, which it gets from ODBC driver, and it converts it to vendor specific database protocol. Okay. So this is how uh, a JDBC ODBC bridge driver works. Now, uh, this is the slowest of all the drivers. And that is because it has the maximum layers of communication. Okay. Now the next driver is native API driver. Now this native API driver, it converts our JDBC calls to native calls of the data database API. Okay. And these uh, native calls will be understood by the vendor database library, and it will in turn convert those calls to a vendor specific database protocol. Okay. So this was the native API driver. Next we have the network protocol driver. Now the network protocol driver, it doesn't directly convert our JDBC calls. Uh, it uses a middleware between the calling program and the database. Okay. So this Java application is the calling program and this is our database. So the network protocol driver, it makes use of a middleware. Okay. And this middleware is uh, basically uh, any application server. Okay. So the middleware converts the JDBC calls to vendor specific database protocol. Okay. So this is how a network protocol driver works. Then finally we have the thin driver. So the thin driver, it converts the JDBC calls directly to vendor specific database protocol. Okay. So this is the fastest of all the drivers. And that is because it has the minimum number of uh, layers of communication. Okay. So that's it guys. Uh, these were the four JDBC drivers. So thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial. If you like my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.